up YouTube? Um, sorry I look like trash, I got out of the shower. Um, but I have to film something for today. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to film, I'm gonna do a, a review for Aquaman while eating these candies that my friend sent me from Puerto Rico. I don't know if they want me to use their name, so I'm just gonna, you know, thank you, you know who you are. Um, so, I'm gonna try one. They're a strawberry thing. Very good. Really good, actually. I like them. I'll save a couple from the shelf. Um, but anyway, so I saw the new Aquaman. It was really, oh, by the way. There's Gussie. There she is. The new Aquaman is really good. Like, I'll say it's my second favorite DC movie. My favorite will always be Wonder Woman, like, forever and always. But Aquaman is really, really good. Like, it was better than I expected because DC movies generally aren't my favorite. But it had, it was really beautiful, like, scenery wise, like, imagery wise. It had a lot of color, which I really appreciate. Like, it was very beautiful that way. And honestly, the acting was really good. And it had a compelling storyline, not gonna lie. Like, it was, it was a genuinely good movie. Like, I'm not just saying that because, ooh, Jason Momoa was so hot, which he was, by the way. He's very attractive. And I appreciate all the shirtless fight scenes, but it's more than that. He is, it's just a good, good movie in general. Like I said, it's definitely my second favorite DC movie. And it's up there on my list of favorite superhero movies. So I definitely recommend you go see it. And like I even I liked the villain, the main villain, uh, P King Orem. I actually really liked him. He was very sleazy and like sneaky. I like him. And on, I mean, I don't know really what else to say about it because I don't want to spoil anything. These candies are really good, by the way. But there was, I will say, there was definitely direct references to the Excalibur thing. I will say that, like, it was, like, blatantly obvious. But, you know, I always appreciate a good Camelot analogy. I mean, now I just remembered the whole Merlin, the ending to Merlin, and that... We're gonna ignore that. Um... But, yeah. Um... And I like that they went to different environments. It wasn't all just in the ocean. Like, they went to the desert, they went to Italy, and all that. It was really... It was really good. The secondary villain wasn't my favorite. Honestly, like, I don't know if he's important in the comics or whatever, or if he's gonna make any kind of comeback, but for this movie, he was kind of irrelevant. Like, he was just a little, little blip, like, almost seemed like a filler to me. Like, I feel like the movie would have been just fine without him. But he wasn't bad. I just feel like he was kind of pointless. But, and, like, the fight choreographies were great. Like, like I love a good fight scene. Especially one-on-one -on -one fight scenes. They're my favorite. Like, the best one I've ever seen in any movie is the Hector versus Achilles fight in the movie Troy. That one's really good. But this one had some really, really top-tier fight choreography, especially with the tridents and stuff. It, it's all really very good. So I highly recommend you go see Aquaman. DC's really going up with the quality of their movies. And I'm just really excited for what they're going to do in the future. So, I guess that's my review of Aquaman. I've never done a movie review before, so forgive me if it's just me rambling. But I think that's it for me for today. Um, say goodbye, Cassie. Cassie, say goodbye. Thank you.